No Dallas! You guys ready to take back the school system? I'm excited to be here today. I'm gonna to burn through this because what I'm here to do right now is to declare a state of emergency in our public schools. You guys see it? You see, what's happening right now is that the radical left in this nation owns our school system. They own our elementary schools, they own our high schools, they own the universities. They own the media. Sadly, in the last year and a half, we've discovered that they own pharmaceuticals and they own our medical community. And the public school system is ground zero for the hostile takeover of this nation. 24 years ago, my husband and I saw the handwriting on the wall. And we did the thing we said we would never do. We pulled our daughter out of public school and we started this crazy thing called homeschooling. And I remember thinking to myself, I just don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I'd like my child eight hours a day. <laughs> I could not understand why a woman in her right mind would stay home all day with her children when a yellow bus would come and take them away for free and she could get a shower by herself. You guys know what I'm saying? But God was at work in my heart. And God was at work in the heart of my husband and we did the thing that we said we would never do and I did it I mean the guys the homeschoolers back then they were growing wheat in their backyard and grinding into flour and I was giving my kids wonder bread you know what I'm saying <laughs> and I was trying to think why would the Lord of Heaven's armies the God that spoke the world into being ask Heidi St. John a woman who could not keep houseplants alive to homeschool her children and the Lord said, let me introduce you to my friend, Moses. <laughs> Moses had a stuttering problem. And God said, I'm going to stand you before the Pharaoh and you're going to plead on behalf of my people. Let my children go. That is what needs to happen right now. The Lord of Heaven's armies is calling this generation of parents and grandparents off the bench and onto the battlefield for the sake of their children and grandchildren. And there isn't a moment to lose. The public school system is a Marxist organization that is absolutely hell-bent on teaching your children that down is up and up is down. They'll teach your children that there are 400 genders and that there is no God. They'll teach your children that you are an idiot and that they know better. And if you don't believe me, go to a school board meeting. I started going to school board meetings five years ago before it was cool. Apparently, it's a cool thing to do now. None of my children have been in a public school in the state of Washington, where, by the way, I announced in February that I am running for a seat in Congress. running against me and they don't like me very much but you know what here's the thing every single thing that you see happening right now is happening because the groundwork for the hostile takeover of this nation has already been laid and the only thing now that these people need to accomplish their goal of upending our country and turning it on its head why do you think Nancy Pelosi wants to strip the language of male and female from the floor of the House of Representatives. This is called cultural Marxism. They know that he alone who owns the language owns the future. And if the schools can tell your children that male and female is nothing more than a social construct and confuse them about right and wrong, they are well on their way. I want to encourage you right now in the name of the Lord of Heaven's armies, that you are the generation that God has appointed for this trial right now. You are the Esthers of this generation. You are the Daniels of this generation and you will not bow by the power of the Lord, amen? Our children are precious, are they not? I have my fourth grandchild coming in just a few short months. 
I know, right? I'm telling that's why they call it grandparenting. It's all of the newborn and none of the night shift glory to God. <laughs> I'm gonna encourage you right now that if there is a stirring in your spirit and you're sitting in here today and your children are in the public school system or your grandchildren are in the public school system, now is the time. Pull them out of these indoctrination centers. If Heidi St. John can homeschool seven children, which by the way, all seven of my children can make their beds, love this country, love the Lord, and can hold a job. Now is the time to take your kids out of these schools. Now is the time to run for school board. You guys listen to me, socialists don't sleep. You know how I know this? I live in the Pacific Northwest. Seattle is practically on fire. It is spiritually on fire. It is literally on fire, just like Portland. And you know why? Because good people like me and you have done our part by voting, but doing nothing more. We must not allow this to continue. And listen, this is so important. You need to protect your children. All day long, I hear the radical left spouting about how important our natural resources are. Listen to me. Our children are our most important natural resource. When will we protect the children? And you know what? You can pull your children out of public school. And believe me when I say, your worst day of homeschooling your children will be better than their best day in the public indoctrination centers that are in every neighborhood in this nation. A lot of you have been asking me, I started an organization, and you can look it up online. I don't have any slides because I just came here from speaking in Chattanooga for another bunch of patriots who are riled up like you guys. You can look up the Firmly Planted Homeschool Resource Center. My husband and I opened it five years ago, shortly after Barack Obama announced his ridiculous bathroom mandate that has put our young girls at terrible risk. We need to start telling the truth about what is happening in this nation. There are two genders. There is one God. Parents are responsible for the education of their children, and we do not co-parent with the government. I know it may sound scary to you. I know you're thinking, oh my word, there's not enough vodka in Dallas for me to homeschool my children. But let me tell you right now. She's like, I found some. <laughs> let me tell you right now, you guys. The Lord will be with you. God said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. In Isaiah 55, we read, His ways are higher than our ways. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so are His ways higher than our ways. Amen? Amen. You guys, our ways are not God's ways. They're better. God's ways, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Lord, I said it wrong. God's ways are better than our ways. Aren't they? And my grandmother used to tell me, Heidi, you either trust him or you don't. He's either good or he isn't. He's either going to help you or he's not. And the kids that we are raising right now don't belong to us in the grand scheme of things. They belong to the Lord. Amen. Amen. And it's time to take our children back. I want to encourage you to visit an organization that I sit on the board of. It's called HSLDA.org, the Homeschool Legal Defense Association. My dear friend Mike Ferris, who is also the president of the Alliance Defending Freedom, also sits on that board and is the co-founder of HSLDA.org. And you can go there and click on your state, and you can find out exactly how to withdraw your children. And I'm going to give you a couple of, a couple of uh, pro tips. Don't ask the school for permission. You don't need it. Don't ask the school for directions. They're going to lie to you. You take your children out of school. You do it boldly and you trust the Lord. Listen, if you brought them home and for the next three to six months did nothing but just got to know your kids again and reacquainted them with the one who made them, your children will be better off than they are in the public school. I want to encourage you to work together. Because this is what I believe to be true about this amazing nation. As a woman now who's been homeschooling her children, by the way, I'm the author of eight books. My newest book releases in the spring. 
And I have been spending my life, me and my husband of 32 years, spending our lives talking to parents about the importance of parenthood. Do you understand why the left is attacking the family? The nuclear family is under attack because the nuclear family is a creation of the Lord of Heaven's armies. The nuclear family is the building blocks, the foundation of the culture upon which we are raising our children. Mom and dad, bring your children home. Love your children like God instructed. I have been asking the Lord, Father, turn the hearts of the fathers back to their families, back to their children. And I believe that if we can do this is a hard thing. I'm not going to stand up here and tell you it's easy. In all 24 years of homeschooling my children, I have two left, by the way. A beautiful 11-year-old and a junior in high school. And in all of the years of me homeschooling my children, not one time have they ever come down the stairs in the morning and said, Mom, we're so happy to see you. <laughs> we folded the laundry for you, thought that would bless you. We did a little math, studied some prepositions, mapped out Lewis and Clark right there on the wall for you. You're welcome. Nope. Not a single time. There have been moments when I have literally been on the floor in a fetal position behind my bedroom door saying, Lord, why me? And the Lord said, Heidi, my ways are not your ways. They're better. His ways are not our ways. They're better. The public school system is not God's way. God's way is better. And you, by the help of the Lord Almighty, you can bring your children home. Get involved in your state organization. Start telling your children the truth about this amazing nation that we are blessed to live in and call home. CRT, CSE, the 1619 Project, all of it. These are inventions of the radical left and they are designed to drive a wedge between you and your children. And by the Lord's help, we will say no. This generation will say absolutely not. Not on my watch. We are the Esters of this generation. We are the Daniels and we say no more. God's ways are not our ways, are they? What are they, men and women? They're better. God's ways are not our ways. What are they? Better. They're better. Take your children out of the schools, you guys, and I promise you, the Lord of Heaven's armies will be by your side every step of the way. You guys, help me out. I'm running for Congress. Thank you so much.